song. Where did you get that from? From the um Nutcracker party. Cast party. One, two, check, check. Restate the question. Yep, got it. <laughs> yeah, so I was talking to my brothers uh, when Amira was born, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to pay for her college tuition, and I was, I was stressing out. And I'll never forget my younger brother Marcus and his friend Calvin said, you know what? You should, uh, you should get her into DJ lessons. Like you should, you should get her to be a DJ and cut hair. If you get her to be a DJ and cut hair, she will be able to pay her way through school. And I remember thinking, even as a baby, I was like, that's a really, really good idea. Like, if I could have a young DJ, like, in addition to, like, her paying her way through school, but, like, if we throw parties at the house, like, I would like to have my own DJ there. I think that sounds fantastic. She started when she was five, and we knew immediately her, her teacher, Martinez White, like, he was like, she picks up on the beat really quick, and he was like, "She's she's five years old, and she's able to stump her, feet, like like move her foot to the beat." He was like, "So she catches it really fast." I'd say when she really took off was about her the summer, late in the summer when her her first year at MC Audio. So she was about maybe seven, seven and a half, somewhere in there. That summer, everything changed. Like the minute she caught this, is they called it a two-click flare. It had taken her all summer to get this. She was getting frustrated, but when she got that, everything changed, and her her growth has been exponential since then. Um, I had um the biggest problem, and it took me a very long time to get um um a two-click flare. Um, it took, yeah, it took me a long time. You practice scribbles? The hardest part about scratching is like learning new things and like if you think you got it, like like trying to listen to other people's feedback and then like trying to do that and then like what you. What you, what you thought is how you're supposed to do it, and, and like learning difficult things, and like it's hard to be patient, but like after a while, then you get it, and it's like, oh, that paid off. <laughs> The last time I was in here was two or three weeks ago, and she's already faster at what she's been doing. That ability to uh, improvise uh, is getting better and better every week as she's like getting um, more sound in her techniques. You having fun? You're like a movie star. You to show everybody how cool you are. Beat mixing. Beat mixing is going to be uh, a really uh, a, a thing down the road for her, especially over the next year, uh, before she can play out as a DJ. That's one skill she's going to have to nail down. And once I learned a couple, I like I learned a, a lot of scratches. Um, I went back to beat matching. I, I went back to beat matching and learned a lot more 
So now I can do beat matching just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the scratching would have to come first. Mm -hmm. the, when people start DJing, there's really like two ways to go with that. A lot of people just mix and don't scratch at all. But scratching is the hardest of all the DJ art. Uh, you have to put the most time into it. It's the most physical. It's the most grueling to practice. It becomes instrumentation, not just playing music and flowing with it. Uh, she's learned the hard one. So getting into like flowing and understanding matching, beat matching, key progressions, things like that, will be pretty easy for her. one song and then you bring in another song and you hold it and then when it sounds right you drop it right on the one and then it it sounds good and then you switch it to the song you just dropped so got to say, uh, her dad coaching her and pushing her is an excellent addition. <laughs> your samples are getting better, too. And your scribbles are getting way better, too. You sound good, dude. You sound real good. Uh, the thing that separates anyone when they're trying to learn a skill like this is, will you practice when you don't want to? Uh, she has no choice. Dad makes her. You know? <laughs> and that, that's one of the things that's going to separate her in the future. That strong family background is having that kind of support and push as a child is uh, going to go miles in the future. That's the cool part about all of this. Like right now at nine, she's decent. By, by 15, there's no telling what's going to happen because like the, the gains are just so vast now. So like her, the way that she, at the rate that she's going, it could be, whew. It could be nothing short of amazing. She's 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 on her way. Uh, I think she could be destined for more than just spinning local clubs, but that's all in the future. We'll see what happens. I would love to see her be the first female to win a DMC competition. No. does inspire her little sister. Yeah. yeah. I want to do it, but I go all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> does Amira take time, time with you to try to teach you? Yeah. She tried to teach me a baby, but then I just went, woo, 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 woo. And I never got it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to be a DJ someday? But they're still going to have to pay half of the money for college. <laughs> Why do we I'm have not, to I'm pay not half agreeing the money to that. I'm college? not agreeing with that. I think you're more than capable of finding your own funds for college. Be, Be a DJ. Oh, yeah. Definitely. DJ. Education. You know, you can get uh, you can get a full ride just based on your intelligence. Who so I get a Soccer ride? Soccer or basketball. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, no. I'm not paying for your car either, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 